Adobe Express has a few different ways on how you can share your designs, share templates, create templates for external use for somebody else to do a version of themselves. I've broken all of those down in this video for you. I put them down into kind of like chapters down in the description. So maybe check those out. And also maybe you want to save this video for future reference. Maybe it's something you need to come back to in the future. And also if you want to like and subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate that. But let's get in and check out all of these different options of sharing your designs inside of Adobe Express. If you're new here, my name's Darren and I'm an Adobe Express ambassador. And this is part of my series called Adobe Express Made Easy. Now to demonstrate this for you, what I've actually got is I've got a simple design here and I wanna share that with my second account. So you're gonna come over to share and in here you want to add in the actual email address. Then when you actually add in the email address, you can see here, you can either invite them to either edit or can comment. So if you want them to only be able to comment, this is ideal if you want to share a design to a client, for example, you can ask them or share it with them, but they can only comment. They're gonna to invite to collaborate. Now the invitation has been sent. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to my other account. You can see now under notifications, I've actually been sent a notification. It'll also send an email to me, but I can now come in and it's actually invited me to be able to comment on this design. I can't actually change anything on here, but I can add a comment. Let's say, hello, here is my comment. And we click submit, it's added my comment. I'll switch back to my other design here where it's showing me on there. And you come up to the comment section and you can see now here that person or the other person that has been invited, in this case it is just me, has added a comment on there and it'll also show up. See the little red dot? That shows that there's a comment on the design. Now there is also an option on here to actually share your design with someone that doesn't actually have an Adobe Express account. So you could share it with a client that doesn't actually have an Adobe Express account. What you would do in this case, you would click share. You can see here where it says anyone with the link. Okay, so if you had that set as invited people, only invited people can access, that would only be these people up here that have been invited can access and comment. But we want anyone with the link can comment and apparently you can say I can edit. Let's copy that link. We've copied this link to the clipboard now and we're gonna open up this incognito window and paste the link in here. Click continue as a guest, enable all. We're gonna add a comment, hello, random person. Okay, we're gonna click submit and it asks you for a name. You can create an account if you wanted to. You're gonna just call this um, hedgehog. Hedgehog man. And you can see now it says hedgehog man, hello random person. And um, if we come back to the original design over here and we come over to the comment section, you can see now I can see here there is a comment from hedgehog man who wasn't signed in into Adobe Express, but because they had the link, they could come in and actually comment. Now to actually edit and change the design, you actually have to have an account it seems, but on this particular case you can actually comment without actually logging into an Adobe Express or an Adobe account. Now before we get into template links and sharing template links I want to show you one other way in which you can collaborate with an actual client or somebody else using the projects folder. We come over to the Adobe Express homepage and we've then clicked on your stuff and then you click on your you can see you've got your file here now I want to move this file into a projects folder. Okay, so we're gonna click over into projects and I'm gonna put this in a folder or a project that I've got called templates. Now, when I've put this over into templates, you can see over here under 
the projects folder, you can see I've already invited my other self to this design here or to this projects folder. You can, if you want to, share this projects folder to other people and invite them via email. So that might be a client and then they will also have access to that folder and anything put in that folder, the client will have access to or the person you're sharing with will also have access to that folder. You can see here I've added this into this templates folder. Now, if we click and go back over to the other accounts, my other account, you can see when I'm on my other account, it's normally got a pink logo up there. I'm going to click on your stuff. I'm going to click on projects. And you can see now I've actually been invited to this projects folder called templates. And that's where I can then now open up this other design. And because it's a little bit different on here. You can see I can move, move this layer down because they've got something over the top. But you can now see that I can actually come in and edit the design as my other self inside of that. I could also, if I wanted to, come over to my stuff. We're going to come over to the projects folder as well. And we're going to click on make a duplicate. So you can see here I can duplicate this and call it... Uh, something else, uh, duplicate, just duplicate, testing, template. Okay, and now I've got that duplicate. I can then move this out to something else. So I just want to put this in my files. Okay, I'm just going to click that move. The owner of ownership of this file will be transferred to you because that's my other self. So if you've shared a design with somebody and they create a copy and then move it to their own location, the transfer of the, the ownership will be to that other person. If other people are currently edited the file, any unsaved edits may be lost. So if somebody else was working on this and it was moved, it would give remove their access basically. So I'm going to click move and then abracadabra. I'm going to come back to your files and you can see now I've actually got this duplicate version of the document. And that is now me as Darren too, if you like, pink Darren. Um, it's, for some reason, it's not showing my logo up there. But you can see now I have access to this second area inside of Adobe Express. So that's how you can share designs using the projects folder. Now let's talk templates inside of Adobe Express. There's a couple of different ways that you can create templates. There's templates that you can create for yourselves and share them say with a client or something else like that. But there's also a way that you can create templates to share with somebody else so that they can remix it. First of all, I wanna show you how you can create templates for yourself, save them into a brand kit that you might be for yourself or that you're working on with a client. So the first option is you come over to share and you click on make a template. Now, when you do this option, it's going to ask you to save it to a location. Now, the location will be either your a brand kit that you're working on either for yourself or with a client. And you can also save it to a library. Now, in order to be able to have access to this, the client or the person that you're working with will also have to have access to your brand kit or your library area. So it's not not something that you would share say with the public this is kind of like a more kind of like ring fenced option where you can work with a client inside of adobe express with templates so we're going to click on better content creators and you can click on template settings now if you have a team account you can then change how they can edit that but if i click edit template settings there's not much i can actually do on here with my account because i'm not in a team account with a team account you can particularly like lock down a particular areas and things like that but on this particular occasion we're just going to click on make a template and we're going to click better content creators and then we're going to click on save a template now it's going to create this in the background and it might take a few minutes to show up but if we come over to brands and then we click on the better content creators and then templates you can see here here's a template listing that i have already created and now i can either copy the link 
and share that with somebody that has access to the templates area here or the brand kit here or I can click on start a new file and you can see that the second option has just loaded up underneath but we can click start a new file that will then create this new file for us here where we can just rename this we want to create it new file demo okay and that then we will just stay here and we could then just file and move that to somewhere else that we wanted to we can move this to our stuff and just our files and i'm just going to move it there members of better content creators you can see it created it underneath my brand if you like but i've now moved that out to just the general files area so we can see now if we come over to your stuff this new files demo is just there and that's where it would be and now we can go in there and edit and play about with this however we want now i like saving my files or my designs as templates but i also like to save a copy not as a template and this is kind of like a little it's not really template related but it's a little thing that i wanted to show you is if you come over to your stuff and you come over to or you come over to your brands say and you come down to your templates let's say i just wanted one page from this template i can't pick just one page from this template to add into the new documents that i'm working on what i would actually have to do is come over to my stuff and under the files area this is the one where it's just the files area let's just say I wanted to just add in this second page here from this other file. I can just add in that as a page. You can also add it in as an image, which is really handy. So that's one reason to kind of like have the templates, but also not have the templates file and keep a separate copy is you can just add in one page. Now, if you're finding this video useful and you want to learn more about Adobe Express and content creation, do consider subscribing down below and give this video a thumbs up and a like that we really appreciated but let me show you how you can create a template link inside of Adobe Express so you can share this and maybe create a bunch of templates that you can sell or something else like that and it's you're gonna it's really simple on how you can do this so to create a template link that you can share with somebody and sell a, a link to a design is you're gonna come up to share and then you're gonna click on view only link. Now, it might seem illogical to be a view only link, but I've already clicked on this to show you how it happens. But what you actually have to do on the view only link is click this radio button that says allow others to remix. Now you can then have this link, copy that link, and that's the link that you will share with other people that maybe you want to share a design with and it won't affect your original design it'll create a copy locally for them on their system and i'm going to show you how that works so we're going to switch over to my other account and we're going to paste in that link and then when we paste in that link you can see here it's just like a view only option but we can choose to actually remix this option or remix this design and then when we choose to remix this design that creates a local copy you can see here where it says untitled that's because it's copied it over from that original design and it's now created this as a local design on my different accounts and that's how you can share templates or create template links for selling designs inside of adobe express if you've got any questions on creating and sharing links with an adobe express and wanting to be able to share your designs drop them down in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer for you until next time thank you very much and bye for now